From Daily Forex, this is Chris taking a look at the NASDAQ 100. In my daily analysis of the NASDAQ 100, I can see that there is a lot of noisy behavior. And I do think that given enough time, we could see a lot of choppy behavior. But I do think that we continue to try to press to the upside. Ultimately, this is a market that given enough time, we'll have to come to some type of resolution. But uh, unfortunately, it's been hijacked by just a few stocks. Uh, Wall Street is throwing money into NVIDIA, Microsoft, Apple, and just about nothing else. So as long as that's going to be the case, you have to pay attention to a handful of stocks that will make the NASDAQ 100, the S&P 500, the NASDAQ itself, all act like an ETF. This concentration of liquidity is not a good thing, but it's also something that you can't fight. So with that in mind, I do believe that we are more likely than not going to continue to find buyers of dips. That being said, we are heading into the weekend, so Friday probably will be a little bit cooler, but you never know. The market seems to be struggling with the idea of staying above 20000 as it is a large round psychologically significant figure and i think in general will attract a lot of attention just because of that so with all of that being said i think this is a situation where eventually we do find a reason to go higher but in the meantime we may be setting up for some consolidation that's fine we've had a strong run higher and i believe at this point the 19,500 level underneath will continue to be an area where value hunters might be interested Underneath there, we have the 50-day EMA racing towards the 19,000 level, which is an area that has been important multiple times in the past as well. Either way, I'm not selling this market anytime soon. Mm -hmm.